Welcome to the Mill Spouse Coffee House Podcast. Your podcast baristas Leslie and Brittany have a latte on their minds. My kid gets in the dishwasher, that's the first thing she grabs is the knife. To like use all the help. All the help. Am I the only one that's weirded out by that situation? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I'm not going to ask. You don't have to get dressed. You can do online hungover, y'all. That's true. Yeah. That's funny. Here are your hosts, Leslie and Brittany. Can you hear Lula in the background? Yes, it's cute, She's though. She's making... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Mill South Coffee House, everyone. Hello, everybody. This is actually our last episode for season two, if you can believe it. Yes, it's so exciting. Thank you all so much for coming along this journey with us. Yeah, we are we are so excited to to wrap up the season and we have big plans for season three. And mm. I think I told a lie. I think the last the last episode or two episodes ago, I was like, we have four episodes left, but that was not true at all. Okay. I don't know what I was thinking, so sorry about that, guys. But Um, um, yeah, and if you're watching this, I I look like I'm in a black hole because I'm sitting in my bed. I'm not, not at the desk today. I'm feeling under the weather. Wow. So feel better. Oh God. Me too. I think I just need a mimosa. Oh well, that you know, mimosas solve lots of things. (sighs) Yeah, a lot of problems. A lot of problems. There we go. I don't know. It's got orange juice and vitamin C in it too. So yes, that's that's the way you got to look at it. Oh show. Oh, my hair's doing crazy stuff too. All right, (laughs) let's proceed with our (laughs) nonsense. Holy cow! I think part of it is because I didn't dry it last night with the dryer. You know, like if I don't do anything with the hair dryer, and it started. Sorry, guys. It started doing that after I had Genevieve. Like, before I had oh, Genevieve, yeah. my hair was stick straight. Like, mm-hmm. stick straight. And now it does all this crazy, like, wavy stuff. And I, yeah. I don't know what to do with it, really. Yeah. Well, because it's, like, half straight, half not. Yes. <laughs> and then I'll have, like, some curly cues, like, down here in the bottom. And I'm like, I, I just really don't know. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, I've heard that happen to a lot of people. Your hair gets like a different texture, which I just find literally amazing. Like the human body and hormones, like what? I know. It's insane. Insane. And then I've got a little one who has a little bit of a staph infection here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We can't do uh, school on Monday and that's like the first day of preschool. So that's great. And I'm going out of town for work on Monday. So Mm. it's just lots of fun around here. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Lula, I just, I don't even have Lula signed up for preschool. So. Oh, you don't? Well, this is just part of our daycare and then it it transitioned into pre-K. Yeah. 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 I got to get her into something. Well, because I didn't know when we were going to move and like what was going to happen. So I didn't want to enroll and then re like pull out I don't know we'll figure it out no I know I totally I totally get it but schools Mm -hmm. here start next week so they start like with the regular school year Mm -hmm. so she's been in like summer camp yeah this summer at her at her daycare so nice yeah for school to start I know so anyway let's we should just jump yeah let's jump into into this episode Yes, but real quick, before we jump in, I wanted to mention um, a company that I came across with called Operation Teammate, and they are, I want to be able to um, give you guys the great, like the actual good uh, explanation here. They are, God, I Oh, the mission. Here we go. Includes how military children are inspired by athletes and teams at various events across the nation. So it's for military kids. And if you go to operationteammate.org, they have awesome events. Um, Mostly right now it's in the Southeast because that's where he's Mm -hmm. located as in Georgia. But um, they do a lot of really cool events where they they get military kids together with professional athletes so they can meet them and do like cool events and go to some of the games and just kind of you know, get inspiration from them. So everybody needs to check out operationteammate.org. Yeah, um, that sounds cool. Yeah. If, when okay. JJ Watt is on the list, I'm there. <laughs> I'm going. You know, Lula, you ready? I hate admitting this, yeah. but I had no idea who that was until about Brittany. six months ago. I know. I'm not what? from Texas. I'm not from Texas. What? So, yeah, but everyone loves JJ Watt. Not yeah. even Texans fans. But, and... Not just Texans fans, I guess you should say. 
I don't follow NFL. Like I only mm-hmm. like college football. So I don't, I don't know who any of those people are. So anyway, but I know who he is now because my coworkers, a lot of my coworkers are in Houston and they like, they couldn't mm-hmm. believe that I had no idea who that was. Yeah. I'm also in shock. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, I, I just, how, I don't know. Let's take a poll. Who knows who JJ Watt is? Everyone is. We don't even need to take a poll, Brittany. I know. Maybe I'm telling I'm the only you. person in the entire world who had no idea who he was. He but. just, but he just, he's like a very kind soul. He does lots of stuff for lots of people. Oh. So that's why everybody knows who he is. Well, JJ Watt, if you're listening, you should connect with Operation Teammate. Yes. And and, and, and me like and Leslie. <laughs> Email us at hello at millspousecopyhouse.com. Yes. See you soon, JJ. But that'd be really cool. Like, he would do something like that. Totally. Well, so that's that's what it does is it, it pairs up military kids with professional athletes. And both – I think it's both college college um, sports as well. So um, cool. there you go. Check them out. Love They're it. Very cool. But – we today have a listener request mm-hmm. for our topic. Um, we got an email in from a listener named Max. We are very excited to hear from Max. And she asked for a specific topic. And I want to just read an excerpt from her email. So she says... I'd love to hear your input. I'm currently a military significant other, also known in the military world as just the girlfriend. Both myself and my boyfriend aren't ready to get married for various reasons, all of which are respected by each other. The biggest ones are financial and career goal related, which I totally understand. Mm -hmm. She said, however, I recently moved so we could live together after being long distance for over two years because we wanted to move our relationship forward so that marriage wouldn't be too far off within the next one to two years. With that, with that being said, I am learning quite quickly that being a girlfriend in a long-term military relationship doesn't put you on the bottom of the totem pole. You aren't even on it. So they, she goes on, but um, they're around 30 years old and they, she's, she's feeling like just the girlfriend and a lot of it is being looked down on by other spouses sometimes. Mm -hmm. So she asks for advice. She says, um, she says, do you have any suggestions or input for just the girlfriends out here who are close to marriage, but aren't quite there yet to taking on this military life? Thanks for always making us smile out here in mill spouse, mill. So land. Love you guys and can't wait to get a chance to come up and enjoy some caffeine in your coffee house. That's awesome. Do it. Do it. Yeah. I need caffeine. That's, I have not drank coffee this morning. Maybe that's my problem. Oh, that is your, definitely your problem. Go get some coffee as soon as we're done. Thank you, Max, for reminding me. Yes. Okay. (laughs) So what do you, anyway, that's a tough one. I mean, I can totally, yeah, I totally see what's happening. Like I like reading her email, I'm feeling it. Um, and the other thing is, is you don't have privileges on base, all that stuff. You can't do anything as, as a girlfriend. So that's kind of another. It makes you know, it tough and you can't even get information about certain things yeah. if they're deployed or if they're, you know, mm-hmm. uh, which isn't any other training. spouses. Like that's just the way that this works. So that right. is just another thing that makes this a little harder. Um, But I mean, I feel like she's also like got it together. I mean, oh yeah, you know, so she doesn't need to like go like she. I feel like she doesn't need any of that stuff, so it doesn't matter. But it still hurts to be not included in that kind of stuff, and especially if other people are are like looking down on her on that. I just I don't understand. I don't think that's necessary. I don't either. But I totally see it. I can see it happening. Yeah, I've heard people talk like that. So. which I just, I don't, I don't understand. I really don't like, but I think, so I think what, what the deal is, is there is a, in general, girlfriends are in and out. Yep. Um, you know, you get like the, what is I, there is a name for these, you know, like a, we a talked label. about this in like our first, our first season. Yeah. I like, can't remember what it was either. Trolls, you know, like people that are like locals that just go after military just for, you know, the benefits like or whatever chasers, it is. Right. Something chasers or something, something like that. I don't remember. We had the same problem first season. I can't. Yes. <laughs> so, um, 
I think that there's there's that stigma that Maxis just has to fight, even though she's not really in that category. Because as someone who has a career and is, you know, a little bit older, it's not like an 18, 19 year old, you know, like the typical what's falling under this um, stereotype that we're right. talking about. Um, I think she has to fight that, though, either way. And they've been together for a couple of years already, right? So it's not like this is somebody who's brand new, who just like popped right. in and was like, hey guys, I'm here. Let hey. me uh, yeah. <laughs> have access to all of your your significant other things. Exactly, exactly. So, so I just think it's like an unfair stereotype that she has fallen into, even yeah. though it's, she's, it's not, it doesn't really apply to her. And part of it is completely just out of her control simply because the i mean because she she's not married and she's not on that page too right mm -hmm. she she doesn't have the id she can't get on base she can't get certain information it's just it's those are the rules right but that doesn't excuse anybody looking down on her or making no. her feel um even more ostracized than she already is mhm mm yeah i i watched Oh, I, there was actually a girl down here that I sort of watched the girlfriend to being married transition and people did the same thing to her. Like we were friends outside of the military world and then she started dating a Marine and then they got married. They had the whole thing. Um, so I sort of watched that happen too. <clears throat> and there's just nothing. I don't know. But see, I was nice to her. I wasn't, but that's just me because I am a nice person. Okay. <laughs> Let's be friends, Max. Well, I do know that when I um, I was in the spouses club several years ago, and one of my really good friends ha was not even engaged yet. They had been dating for a year or so, and um, I was the president of the spouses club. And we, I would always try to have events off base specifically because mm -hmm. we had at least, I think we had at least four or five like girlfriends or fiancés mm -hmm. and I wanted to make sure to include everybody but there were some people in the group that that didn't agree with that for whatever reason and I think part of it was because it could potentially li let somebody have I guess some information that maybe they shouldn't have that not that the spouses get a lot of like secret information <laughs> but I think I think some of it was was simply to protect the group and you know I don't I, I, and I, I, can, I can understand a piece of that but mm -hmm. like another piece of it is guys we just all need support we're not in the military like right we, we don't we don't have to have the security clearance and all that kind of good stuff yeah like, we're just exactly. simply trying to be friends and hang out together because we're all in the same boat like that's all this is exactly I know. Yeah. And she is no different. I mean, she still is doing like, has to do deployments, has to do with trainings, has to deal with, you know, being a part and all of that stuff. And it's the same thing. Um, being married or not. I mean, she moved to North Carolina. Hello. Yeah. Like there's commitment there. It's not, it's yeah. not like she's just like, mm, I'm dating a Marine and like walking around her home state. Or I don't know. I just am assuming they're Marines. That was not a great assumption. There's a lot of things <laughs> out here in North Carolina. Sorry, girl. Well, I think it's just maybe she's just, I, I hate saying this, but she's just going to have to to deal with it, unfortunately. And then when she becomes a spouse, be the one to make the change and not be that person mm -hmm. who's rude to other people because they're not one. That's true. Yeah. But, you know, I and she's also got a little more freedom there too so mm -hmm. that is a win <laughs> yeah yeah um, well because of her career and all that kind of good stuff like mm -hmm. she's obviously got a lot going on so focus on that until you know really focus on that until you guys get married and then um, rely on other resources because there's virtual Facebook groups that you can rely on us you can contact us um, there's all kinds of different things that you can do to kind of feel supported and I, we've talked about this on other podcasts but like even even just doing something in the community where it's not military related but like meetup.com yeah or exactly volunteer or junior league or you know some sort of networking fave look genevieve look see lula can you say hey they can't hear each other but <laughs> oh yeah i forgot we have headphones on the kids can just see each other right now do you see lula like, lula's being shy hey Say hi. <laughs> She's four too. Did you know that? 
<laughs> you guys are funny. Now they're being shy. Mm -hmm. Genevieve's being silly now. But did you hear that? <laughs> Anytime <laughs> she wants to come over to our house. <laughs> it's a little far, babe. We gotta do that some other day. Maybe sometime. Maybe someday. Okay. <laughs> Aw. We'll get uh, these two. We'll get these two together someday. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, going back to the <laughs> to the girlfriend, it is tough, and there's it's kind of like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place, and that's just Lula. No. Yeah, I think that's just part of it. Is 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 doing the best that you can to handle that because there's nothing you can do to change that. To right, change and because really, just the spouses that are not being nice just need to be nice. And yeah. You can't make anybody do anything. And then just break the cycle when you become a spouse. Here's what you should do is get a little, like a Bluetooth speaker and blast this episode in particular as you walk into like the next lunch. There dinner. you go. <laughs> Be like, listen up, all of you. <laughs> hey, you guys. My best like goonies. <laughs> yeah. Just listen. Attention. Attention. Stop being jerks. We can all so. be friends. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Um, but yeah, you're right. I think it's just, it, it is what it is. And you just, just find the people that are your tribe. There's that though too. So if people are like being jerks, move on to the next one, move on yeah. to the next one. You'll find the right person. Yeah. It'll take a little time. I mean, it's not, it's certainly not easy. And you always find that by the time you find somebody that it, that you fit with, it's time to move. Time to move. But I mean, you may see them again at some point. So yeah. there's always that. There's Invite them to your wedding. Yes. In two years. Yes. But yeah. I mean, I think it's totally responsible. Like they, it, it, the fact that they're not married is nobody's damn business. Anyway. Absolutely not. Like, I think part of the problem is, is just if, if events are being held on base and all of it, she can't have access to it, which maybe mm -hmm. if, I don't know if she knows any of the other spouses who do go and maybe she can go with that spouse Mm -hmm. like to go on yeah. base you that would know? be a nice thing but I don't know if it's like in the bylaws of the rules like I I don't remember those being rules when I was the president of our our group but I was mm -hmm. kind of relaxed on on those kinds of things yeah no so, I think that it's fine I mean if you go with somebody else basically that spouse is sponsoring you yeah we everything okay saying. over there no she's been fake crying for like a week and it oh. is so annoying. She I don't wants, understand. She's going to earn an Oscar one day. We're going to see her. Uh... Uh oh, are you frozen? It's, yeah. I think you got frozen. And I then can't... I uh, uh, am I frozen? No, not anymore. Not anymore. Um, this hair is driving me crazy. She, because I'm like, I've been saying like enough with the fake crying. Mm -hmm. And so after like three or four days, wow. she'll do it. And then she'll say to herself, enough with the fake crying. Right, mom? <laughs> I'm like, yes, why are we, why are you having your own conversation? You just do you. <laughs> she's just take it to the corner. She just wants some attention. Yes, I know, that's, that's what she's doing right now. She just wants some attention. Somebody pay attention to me. Lula, uh, do you want some coffee? Maybe we should make a latte. Nope. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, this episode has got yeah, a lot of cameos one's, in it. This one's a little, uh, crazy y'all but i think yeah, that's the best way for us to end season two Hi. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> so you do want coffee <laughs> okay oh God. This I'm telling you so much drama <laughs> okay well we can make some coffee honey God. oh where's the mimosas <laughs> that has been confirmed Just do you want to um do you want to come on and say hello for a second no. You're just going to cry. Hey, cry, though. It's so real. <laughs> Genevieve in the background. I can't handle it. All right, Max, I'm so sorry that this episode was all over the place, but I hope that we gave you some answers on this. There's not, no, there's not like one right answer. I think right. just keep doing you. Shh. <laughs> just keep yes. doing you. And do the best that you can. And then when you become a spouse, break the cycle and do what you can mm -hmm. to, to extend that welcoming hand to the significant others. Yes. Yeah. That's the best advice I have. I think that's great. 
I love and your advice. Feel free to reach out to us if you need anything or suggestions or yeah, ideas. let us know where you are in North Carolina because I'm still here for a couple more months. So yeah, you and Leslie should meet up. And you know what? If anybody else has any other advice, going <laughs> <laughs> advice on how to tame your children. Oh my gosh. Uh, if anybody else has any advice for Max, then please let us know. We will be more than happy to share it on our social media. Yeah. How many social, uh, like just significant others do we have? That's what I would like to know that are not married, fiancés, girlfriends, boyfriends, whatever. Yeah. We I just... would love to know. And, and Because you are all welcome here. Absolutely. Everybody's welcome here. So... Even crazy four-year-olds who don't yeah. follow directions are welcome mm -hmm. here. Um, and... We are just almost out of time, but before we wrap up, I wanted to mention the Ink Loft. Love the Ink Loft. Yes. And they, the Ink Loft is a military spouse-owned business that creates personalized gift items and promotional products for all of life's events. Some of the products include Christmas ornaments, shirts, beer bottle openers, cup sleeves, aluminum prints, plaques, home decor, and drinkware. We enjoy creating unique gifts that will be cherished for years to come and are always open to new ideas and requests. So you can check them out at um, shoptheinkloft.com. Um, she's also on Etsy, so it's the Ink Loft on Etsy, and then it's the Ink Loft on Instagram and Facebook. So definitely mm -hmm. check her out. Her stuff's awesome, and yes. she will, if you need, like, a custom design, she will definitely help you out. So mm -hmm. Yeah, and try to go to her website if you can, uh, just because Etsy takes a little bit more money than that. So there give the go. military spouse all the things, you guys. Absolutely. So thanks, guys. Again, this is the end of season two. I can't yes. believe it. Um, we made it. We did it. And um, if you have any ideas for season three, we do have a pretty cool um, plan for season three. But we'll relaunch, I believe, in October-ish of this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whenever I get to Florida. <laughs> Whenever After that my PCS. Happens. After Holy the PCS, cow. we will uh, be back in your our Halloween launch. Should we just launch with Halloween with our sweet? I just listened to that episode where we talked about our Halloween plans. Oh, you did? Cool. It's yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah. So um, we'll probably launch Halloween ish. And um, we hope that you'll join us back again. And if you have any questions, co comments, anything, Anything you want us to discuss and ramble about, we we are good at that. Yes, we so are. So let's do it. But yeah, we're always taking email suggestions, comments, questions. Um, and if you have anything for Max, definitely let us know. Yeah. Yeah. We, I, I just, I'm not feeling like we answer that 100%. I know. I'm not satisfied 100% you know? with the answer that we gave, but I, I feel like we maybe put her in the right direction. But yeah. if anybody has any more specific advice, I think that would be really great to share with uh, the community. So we'll be sure to get that out. But thanks again, guys. Yay. We wouldn't be here without you. And um, we're just so excited. And we will see you in October. Yes. Thanks, everyone. Happy going back to school. Yes. Happy going back to school. Mm-hmm.